Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Glacier Kano here today to play some more Scribble Knots Unlimited on the Wii U. This is the final video of the five year anniversary of my YouTube channel, and what better than something completely unexpected, where at least it probably would be a little bit unexpected to you. It would definitely was unexpected to me for me playing it because I was just looking through my games, thinking, what should I play? Hmm, and then. I saw Scribble Knots Unlimited, and I wanted to play it again. And yes, the the Wii U has its flaws. It has its amazing things, and this is one of its amazing things. That it was only like a year into my YouTube channel that the Wii U came out, and it's gonna die a little bit over the five year mark because the Switch comes out in March of 2017. So. Pretty much the entire life cycle of the Wii U was on my YouTube channel, and let's celebrate that. I don't know, as part of the celebration, but that and also I would just was trying to put in some names of things, and I had no idea that this is called a hop cart. I don't know, because when you put in some words, sometimes they don't come out as what you think. Same with there's some gallium here, just in case we want to make some delightful chemistry experience experiments and then also uh, this was before the age of dabbing but I think I figured out what dabbing really is you get a bunch of fish called a dab and you dance with them <laughs> yeah I'm dabbing guys look at me oh fish anyway I did just like quickly go over oh what am I doing and click on this next new area that I wanted to go to before I actually went into it. I was thinking of starting there, but I think it's always better to start on the farm because it's... The farm is just so iconic, yeah. But I'm gonna go to the uh, castle and see what I can do in medieval times as the banana man holding a fish. Anybody want some fish? Hey guys, fish? I should probably go and see if they... No, I don't think they need any help, but... Help us sneak past the night. Okay, I guess that they do. Well, I could make this pretty easily. <laughs> but I'm gonna give them a fish. Here you go. You're you're very sneaky now. But what I'm gonna do... Maybe if I give them an invisibility cloak. Let's see if that will actually work. Visibility... Cloak. Yeah? Aha! There you go. Orcs in disguise. Although they don't really look invisible. Oh, I guess I could have just given them a disguise. Oh, a jouster. I wonder. Oh well. I just have this cloak lying on the ground here, I wonder. There we go, I'm invisible now. But I'd rather be a banana than invisible. I don't know about you, in, in real life I'd rather be a banana than invisible. Yeah, <laughs> makes no sense. Large wooden crate. No, I want it. Tell me what this big guy is and why he wants to kill me. Can I steal? Oh, I just stole his eyes. Oh no, the humanity. Okay, I can't wear the eyes either, which I really wanted to. I think the only way of solving this problem is with a uh, giant evil alligator I think there's two L's in alligator yeah that's why I, whatever slightly bad at spelling but oh uh, here we go yes go alligator kill everyone oh no A except for me please don't um how about we we do gun um or tranquilizer can I get a tranquilizer because I'm not going to be an awful person, I'm just... How... what am I... I can't talk while trying to spell things. I, I'm going to be a nice person. Tranquil... I, sir? My spelling is bad, uh, which you will find out very quickly here. Um... mm-hmm. I'll put this in my hand, and then I'm going to uh, use... Stolen Huge Angry Eyes. Oh no. Aha! The alligator is sedated. Cause, uh, you know, he just, he wants to be sedated. 
Also, I'm gonna bring this sword with me just in case. What kind of sword is this? Is it any sort of special one or banana suspect <laughs> Maxwell? Because I'm a banana suspect. The best kind of suspects. Oh no, oh I don't want to do anything with that. I want to talk to you. Give me something to help me entertain the king. Well, the thing that entertains me most in life is obviously you get yourself a big old drawing pad and uh, you just go to town. It's just so nice. Let's go daring then. Okay, and uh, a clothing. Yep. <laughs> that, oh, what the heck? There you go. It, I think it's sentient now. That's not very good. Okay. How about? Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I have an. Uh, I have a better idea. Let's just get a clown. Or actually, let's be more uh, medieval about it. A jester. Yes. Here you go. Have a jester. What? How, how does that not entertain a king? Okay, I'll give you the jester inside your hand. Okay, maybe not. Maybe he just wants an object. It seems kind of strange if you have something medieval and it doesn't let you to have a jester. I'm going to be hitting that all day long, aren't I? Okay, how about... Instead, I will, uh, I'll, I'll put paint. Gotta have paint. It's along the same lines. There you go. Oh, fine, I'll use the easy one of, uh, game. Let's see if game will actually pop up of anything. There you go. What's that? The king does not get entertained by a video game. How about I... Oh, I get it. I think I'm supposed to make him a musical instrument. Like a lute. We've got to do this the medieval way. There we go. Because he's the one that's supposed to uh, entertain. Not something else. Uh, the more you know, the more you know. Hello. Hey, hey. I said, oh no! <sighs> I'd rather not attack the king, but if I have to, I will. If I have to. But I will first go over here. Hello, madame. I hate this frilly dress. Give me something more stylish to wear. Well, <laughs> I doubt this would be in the game, but... <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Gimp suit, you know? <laughs> it would be... It's stylish. How about... Girl suit? There you go. Mm -hmm. It's a girl suit. <laughs> also known as a dress, I guess, in her case. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, Queen doesn't need any help. Oh, you, sir. What do you need help with? So I guess nothing. Oh, maybe if I give him a sword, he'll, uh, he'll help everybody. Here you go. Oh, he's afraid. Maybe it's because of the fact he has a sword in his hand. I don't know. Tall prince. I'm gonna make you brave, I think, because you are, you're getting a little bit crazy here. Uh, oh no, I don't want to add it. I want to add an adjective. Brave. Oh no. It's hard to type on a gamepad sometimes. Mm. Yes, you are a brave server. Mm. Now you can uh, do something. I don't know what that something is, but eh, you'll figure it out one day. Give us weapons to shoot down the invaders. How about a uh, nuke gun? Okay, I could put nude gun. Um. <laughs> No, that... Nuke is an adjective. Come on. Fine, I'll just put nuke. Here you go. You can shoot down the, with a nuke. I'll just do things a little bit more uh, natural. Natural fit laser. There you go. 
die. Oh no, I fell down. Oh. This this giant angry alligator is uh, still surviving. Whew. I wonder if I should go down there, but it looks like I need a lock and key. I don't know, I'm gonna still help these guys up here if they need anything. Hey, you need anything other than a nuke or... Uh, no? Okay. Nukes are good for you. Oh. For a second I thought... I might just need to give myself some wings. Because Red Bull gives you uh, banana suits. The Orphaned Dragon. Help a lizard grow up to be the terror of a kingdom. Oh, I thought there would have to be something dealing with dragons around. And I'm going to make the greatest dragon master of all. Well, probably not, but... <laughs> what, what's going on here? This baby lizard aspires to be big! And strong! And a dragon. It's, uh... But it's too mundane. Write something to give it magic. Well... Wait, why am I dressed up? Oh, okay. This is, this is pretty easy. What you do is, uh... Magic. That's just like the cheap way of doing this game. <laughs> She's an ice dragon. Give her something to imbue her with powerful ice breath. Well... How about some icy mints? Or actually mint, that because you can't have plural. There you go. <laughs> Because that's how you get ice breath. You just have some mints that you put in your mouth and you're just like... <sighs> blow it on somebody and they're just like, Oh, it's so cold! Ugh. Train your dragon! Oh, because this is how to train your dragon. I need to paint you black first. I'm sorry, that's just the way it works. Then I call you Toothless? I think that's the how to train your dragon thing. I don't know, I've never seen the movie. Put a person into the cage who can oppose an ice dragon. Well, I'd ri want to write Dovahkiin, but that's not going to work. <laughs> so, let's write instead... Uh, fearless... Uh, space... Man... Okay, uh, fear... <laughs> Ooh, I wonder what a Sandman is. Okay. A fearless Sandman. Okay, I'll put some more people in the cage for this dragon. How about a... I wonder if I should actually do... Because I was gonna, like, since there was a Sandman, maybe a car salesman. That's pretty fierce, fearsome and terrifying to be fighting a dragon. Oh, boy. How about instead... No, uh, I might just need to put a knight. How about, instead, Fire Knight, the greatest of knights. Well, actually, I wonder what happens if you actually call him, a, if you put a Shovel Knight. Actually, that probably wouldn't work. Okay, I want... Oh, maybe I'll put Fire... I'll put Fiery. Because that might work better. There we go. No! Inside the cage with you. How do I... Let's stop time for a second here. <laughs> Empty. Please stop dying on me. You're important. There you go. Because <laughs> a fiery knight is probably the one that would have to be fighting an ice dragon. Yeah. It only makes sense, but... I guess even the Ice Dragon can quench the fires of the Fire Knight that was just dying because he was on fire. <laughs> yeah! The Orphan Dragon complete. Okay. I wonder if they're actually gonna keep this monstrosity now that they're not gonna keep all things around here. Because <laughs> there's just that one guy. Oh wait, what's this? Help me save my friend, but don't kill anyone. Oh, okay. I have a brilliant idea, which isn't very brilliant, because I'm just... I like to put adjectives, because adjectives just make things easy. 
so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put invincible. <laughs> so, you know that you were afraid of him dying? Well, now he can't ever die. He's, he's gonna be very depressed. He's gonna be the last one alive ever of all time, and it's gonna be really sad, but there you go. He's invincible now. What? Oh, okay. Why is everybody afraid? Pardon me. Hello, do you need any help hanging anyone today? No? Also, what are you called? Oh, they're called peasants. Don't really look like peasants to me, but okay. Hello, sir. The Philosopher's Stone is almost done, but I need another ingredient that has been around for a long time. Well, I would want to put... This is probably not going to work. No, no. Dwarf star. Oh, I... I'm dyslexic, sorry. There we go. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> uh, here you go. <laughs> I think that works. Yeah. A dwarf star. <laughs> Oh, because I guess that maybe uh, it, they just count dwarf as in, like, a descriptor, but not, like, you know, a dwarf star. Man. Because those have been around for quite a while, I think, if it becomes a dwarf star. So, uh, yeah. What else is there around here? Because there's something else. Need more star vision. Oh, no. Also, I, I think I need wings. Let's give me some tiny wings. Because I like that one mobile game that is nobody ever talks about now. There we go. Because now I look like I'm just a levitating banana. <laughs> Which is uh, the greatest of bananas. Oh, I know exactly where this would be. It's down below. Uh, I gotta get rid of my wings, I think. Oh, there's a lance there. There we go. Let's go below. So, yeah, I, I can get rid of my star vision, I think, now that I'm uh, good here. So there's a sleeping... Oh, it's a co comatose. Or co comatose. That's more of the way you say it. Ooh, boy. I might need to save them. Give us something to bust our comrade out of jail. How about just a lockpick? Because uh, you have to work for your uh, helping to break out of jail. Lock, pick. There you go. Dungeon break. Also, look at that guy. You can now play as Maxwell's brother, Shadow. Yeah, he's some sort of ninja. Okay, I really got to get rid of my uh, wings here. This is bothering me. Uh, remove. There we go. Banana suit stays, though. Because it is always peanut butter jelly time. Always. And don't you say otherwise. Oh, okay. I might need to grab my wings again then, because it's not down here. Away I go! Because who else have I not helped around here then? Because I'm only 7 out of 8, which makes no sense, man. I want to help everyone, not just the people who look... That, that need to be helped. Oh, man. I wonder where I need to go. Yeah, I think I might just do a little quick check around here before moving on then. Okay, I think that I either killed somebody that I wasn't supposed to kill or I don't even know because usually it would just reset you if you did that. That's kind of the thing, so... I don't know. I can't figure it out. I, I'm probably just missing something glaringly obvious. I also woke up that night. And I might want to, uh... I'm just gonna bring this fish with me. Hey! That's my fish! You can't take my fish! I'm gonna steal that dab. Always gotta steal dabs from people. Also, actually, I might need to, uh... Oh yeah, I can pet the fish. Oh, He's just so happy! He's a happy stolen dab. But I need to do this first before I go into the next area. 
There we go. Now it's time to go to the grotto. Because the grotto is the best of autos, potentially. Welcome to the masculine grotto. I, wait, what? Whatever. Are these people pet? Oh, okay. Help provide the lonely Medusa with a romantic partner so she can leave us alone. Well, I think I know the only partner that could, that Medusa would ever want. I already said the name. But Cthulhu. There you go. Actually, I should probably uh, fix... Uh, just, just in case Cthulhu wants to kill people, um, I'm going to write friends. Friendly Cthulhu. Oh no. Friendly Cthulhu. There we go. See? Medusa loves Cthulhu. You can now play as Maxwell's brother, Razor. Oh, hello there. Would you like a fish? I'm holding a dab just for fun. That's what I've been doing for a while. Been fishing all day, but there's nothing to catch. Well, I can fix that very easily. Actually, I might just drop the fish that I have in my hand. Um, come on, drop the fish, drop the fish. I can't drop the fish. You can never drop the fish because the fish is part of me now. Oh boy, I'm the fish master. Fish master McGee. Yeah, okay, the fish is just part of me. I'm just gonna leave it. <laughs> um, dab. No, not dab. Dab. There you go. Yes. I should have put some kind of crazy fish in there, like... Potentially, uh... Like a Thulu fish. No, that's not the way it works, uh, does it? Oh yeah, this guy does need help, but why doesn't it... There we go. I'm too hideous to love! I don't think that's possible, but... Oh, it's... He's probably the Phantom of the Opera. So, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna give you... Uh... A beautiful hat. Or, no, actually, a fancy hat. Because everybody loves you when you're wearing a fancy hat. Here you go. <laughs> it's true! See? Phantom of the Grotto. But, because if you're wearing a fancy hat, you always go ahead and uh, get all the ladies. It's a thing to note in life. Now I'm gonna go up top here. Oh, hello there. I want to make a wish with that well. Well, I'll give you a fish, because of a magical fish that you can give and do a wish with. Oh no. Okay. Can I actually do that? I'm gonna I'm gonna see. Cause it is a wish fish. Yeah? Or how about a wise fish? Animal. There you go. If you have a wise fish, it should tell you the secrets. Oh well, I'll give her a couple quarters or something. Or actually, it probably would make more sense to do coin because they probably wouldn't uh, have a quarter. Nintendo! There you go. What does it? Oh no, she's carrying a wise fish now. So I guess that she doesn't like Nintendo coins. At first I thought it was actually going to be the Nintendo coin from uh, Donkey Kong 64. <laughs> Here you go. Yeah, the Nintendo objects never work for anything. <laughs> oh. What? Also, so she just took the coin of Nintendo. She took it all! You know, you know what I'm saying? She took it all! Oh boy. Anyway, you, uh, Little Red Riding Hood, uh, I need supplies to take to Grandma! That's how she sounds, she doesn't sound, uh, 
anything special. But, uh, let's see, for supplies you're gonna have a delicious cookie. Oh boy, I just forgot how to spell delicious for a second there. Delicious cook. Oh no! Cookie! There you go. Not just a regular cookie. That, like, your grandma's gonna love that. Also, you're probably gonna die before you get to your grandma. Just saying. Oh. Or actually, her grandma's just right here. I could. Oh, my house is so plain, it needs a touch of color. Well, I want to do rainbow. That's that's what I'm gonna do. Well, uh, also, what's with the music around here? It's really like intense and crazy for what it is. Rainbow. There we go. Now that's a nice house, if you ask me. <laughs> Look at that gnome. It's just so good. Anyway, what's this? I think I just went to the- oh no! Welcome to the Ruins of Eclipse! I didn't want to come here. Or did I? Because the whole world is interconnected in a strange way that is not even noticeable for the most part. Six out of seven, okay. There's still a couple more things to do. There's also you, sir. Moving west! Help the pioneer on his Oregon Trail! I'm going to do it, why not? You gotta make sure that you don't get the crazy diseases, though. Oh boy, dysentery. That's like the only one I could think of quickly. <laughs> this pilgrim, not Scott Pilgrim, is headed west. But what is their profession? Provide an object to make the pilgrim a farmer, a carpenter, or a banker. I only have those three options? Let's go with, uh... Calculator, because, you know, that's what you need to become any of those three, actually. Cal... I can't... I can't write and talk at the same time, but... Because also, I, I spelt it wrong anyway. <laughs> As I said, I can't spell and talk at the same time, but... To become a farmer, you need a calculator. Not a banker, no, farmer. There you go. Oh no! It's getting sick! This poor animal! Typhoid! Create an animal to replace it. Well, I think that we all know the greatest of animals to pull any sort of carriage around, and that is the mighty sloth. So, here you go. <laughs> That's totally worth it. I didn't even give him a giant sloth. That's just a regular sloth. I'm running low on food, and I don't know how to catch animals. Create someone who can teach me. Okay. You know who can teach you the ability to catch food? That would be Bear Grylls, but... Uh, how about... Link? Technically. Technically, this is true. That it would work. Because Breath of the Wild that's coming out, Link knows how to catch food and he... Well, he can fish in like pretty much all of the Legend of Zelda games, or at least most of them, let's just say that. But I guess that you don't know that, so I'll get the next best thing of for fish is a fisherman. I wonder what happens if you put Fisher Woman. Probably wouldn't work, because this game's sexist! <laughs> what? Not possible. Okay, uh, oh, how about, uh, a teacher? Because obviously a teacher... Okay, this must be like a teacher from, like, university or college or something like that. <laughs> so, Link, a fisherman, and a teacher walk into a bar. <laughs> oh, the meat just got hurt, it looks like. I've made it to the end of the trail. Now create a homestead for me to live in. Okay, I want you to live inside of... This is gonna be a metaphor, yeah? No, that's not right. Glass... Castle. Is, is it supposed to be glass castle or glass mansion or glass house? I don't remember. It's still... It's still a metaphor, yeah? 
Glass castle. There you go. I hope you enjoy your new gigs and digs and... Jigs. Jigglypuff. Because everybody's gonna be able to see you naked. So... Just... I just wanted to let you know that. <laughs> Yay! Total Starites! I'm gonna continue that, because there's still one other thing for me to do in this area. Hmm. Which, oh no, I didn't, no, I, I think it's something else above, which I might need to fly for. Help, help! An angry adjective! Oh, I, uh, okay, whatever. Dyslexia? <laughs> Apply an adjective to my house to stop them from eating it. Uh, how about... I'm just gonna... I think that's probably the easiest way. <laughs> we could do invisible house, but no, I'm just gonna do dirty. The house is just so dirty? Oh, yeah. Or actually, I wonder if you can actually do that. Or even just slimy. I want slimy. Slimy. Skimpy, yes. <laughs> no. Of course that wouldn't. Chocolatey. Oh. But no, I, I want to... Uh... Can, can I just do slimy? How do you spell slime? Because <laughs> the slime is like that, yeah, but slimy. Because the other one was slimy, I think. Cause isn't that just slimy? Or is that actually slimy? Is that, is that working? I think they're still eating it. I don't think that's how you spell slimy. <laughs> Either that or they just like slimy chocolate, which is just really, really awful. Also, isn't chocolatey spelled with an E as well? Or am I just crazy with the English spelling of things? How about slimy disgusting? Dirty. There we go. All of the adjectives. Home wreckers. Slimy, disgusting, and dirty. All of the above that is needed to save the day. But yeah, I think I did everything in this area then. Yeah. One out of one and seven out of seven. <laughs> Look at how happy they all are here. And there's ladybugs. What, ladybug? flying around and a butterfly. Oh boy. So delightful. <laughs> There's just still this one fish. The wise fish. Just so good. But I think that is probably a good place to end this video. And also ending the entire week. Man, I'm so happy that I actually did play this for the last one because this was Maybe just like that glass castle, it is a metaphor for what my channel is. Weird. <laughs> and also see-through to the point that you can see me naked. Wait, what? So, yeah, I just like to say to end the things off, of course. Uh, thanks for watching, especially those who have been around for five years, which would be only like a couple people, because I didn't have any subscribers until pretty much January. It took a long time for me to get, like, even a hundred. I think it might have been even most of a year, and then, like, then 500 and all that, and my channel's been slowly building over the years, but I am up to an amazing number of... Insert number here, because <laughs> who knows what it's going to be by the time I upload this video, but it's, it's over 40,000. Oh, boy. So, like, getting 40,000 subscribers is a, a massive milestone. And I can't say thank you enough because that is amazing. And even more amazing is my numbers of, like, views on things like, uh, of course, LEGO City Undercover, Castle Miner Z, a lot of the videos that I was already making for this week. So, thanks for watching those. Thanks for watching every video that I put out, even the crazy things and the weird and even the, some of the videos that nobody does watch. Thank you for the people that do watch them, though. And uh, I'll see you next time, as always, for more stuff coming up on my channel and seeing what happens in the next 
however many years that YouTube even exists to be making videos on. But I'll always be around, right? There's always internet stuff to be messing with. And fun and excitement! Woo! Yeah! So, yeah. I'll, I'll see you for whatever I do next on my channel. And goodbye for now.